satisfaction. How'd you like that, baddies? Push me. Not today, my friend. Not today. <laughs> You'll be missed. Get my satisfaction. You just made the world safer. Satisfaction. Sorry. You've got some serious explaining to do, young man. And explaining is coming your way. Oh, yes, it is. We're going to be focusing on melee constructors in this video. And I don't want you guys feeling a little dumb and dumber about it. Another one of my favorite videos. We're going to be looking into kinetic overload in this video to start out with. Maximum overload plus from Steelwood Sid. The go-to ability for melee damage with constructors. It is really, really, really powerful. We have a low hero ability damage modifier on all constructors, so that is worth taking into consideration. But if we look at the perks, if we look at kinetic overload, melee knockbacks and staggers trigger kinetic overload, dealing 25 base energy damage to nearby enemies. After melee critical hits, increase melee impact damage by 10% for 5 seconds up to 5 stacks. So when we stagger something or knock it back, we stagger it with impact damage then we're going to be dealing a small explosion of energy damage and whenever we critically hit we're going to be dealing more of this impact damage for the next five seconds so we're going to be focusing on critting and dealing high impact damage previously you had to use hardware melee weapons now you can use any melee weapon but hardware weapons deal much more impact damage I'm going with slow your roll, a bit of a freeze build to start out with here because it is really really funny to play with. In this playthrough I'm going with cold to the touch as well so we deal additional damage to frozen enemies. We have increased hardware damage, we have increased hardware crit chance, we regain a little bit of energy and then we have a bit of corrosive strike so that we deal area over time whenever we crit and we snare things as well. A very nice touch I feel to going melee. I'm gonna be playing like complete melee but of course you want to be using a ranged weapon in general. My tech score affects the kinetic overload damage because it affects all abilities and my offense affects the amount of damage I do with the weapons. On top of that we have a calculated like summary of the hero ability modifiers from the support squad and the male hero. We don't have anything in melee combat even though I have survivors for it. But we can see your hero ability damage is 11.5 times as much. That is what I get from my support squad and from my main hero. The same can be seen here in the hero ability damage. So that is like a little bit of how things work. I'm going in with a dragon fist. <laughs> a really horrible weapon that is now amazing for this. Huge attack speed, higher impact. I'm attacking fast so that I can crit often and stagger often almost the speed of a blade very nice attack speed when it is perked like this i also have increased damage to stun and staggered and we're dealing 6000 almost 620 crazy impact whenever we hit only downside is fire damage but that's just really how it is a very very interesting weapon for running a build like this a slow weapon that is now really fast crazy damage. I'm also going in with the lead sled. Uh, it has a different build, it has more crit chance on it, that's a movement speed, it is energy damage so it is more of a go-to weapon and with heavy attack energy efficiency so that I can jump to things such as blasters much faster uh, and I can take out like smashers with it getting a small attack speed boost because they may require additional hits but as you can see the impact on this weapon it is slower so we attack much slower and the impact is like almost a third of what I have on the other weapon. So those are like my options. You could also go in with Mr. Red, a very very fast base attack speed damage with a good impact. The pipe down is also a great option and the socket wrench or 6 feet under. 6 feet under is slow but the socket slugger is <laughs> also a great weapon. So anyway, 
what you're going to be noticing here is that I'm dealing these pretty good base damage with my weapon. And then we have these energy explosion things going on. The energy damage numbers, that is from the kinetic overload ability. It is some serious damage. This build here is not in any way lacking melee damage burst or potential. But because I'm not running with a ranged weapon, maneuvering in these battles is a bit of a tricky thing. And we also have a small thing called uh, survivability. Yeah, this is not a build that has anything good going in terms of survivability, but you can take out pretty much anything. So you're going to be relying on your abilities and your adrenaline rush, because if you're standing with bees and lobbers and blasters, you are you're really in for a challenge, which I found really, really funny to play, but it really wasn't that efficient. Being able to once in a while freeze things was not that good because all the small things just die and the large things can be very very hard to freeze anyway, especially if they are smashers that, yeah, well, you know, they don't get frozen, they just get slowed. So the slow your roll option, it was really fun to try out. It was nice when you were surrounded because we don't have a plasma pulse ability on Steelwood Sid, but uh, Besides that, damage-wise, this is really your go-to constructor hero for melee damage. It is, he can really, really pack a punch. In terms of survivability with this build, it wasn't really that cool, but I could, I, I could take out anything. There was nothing I couldn't remove from the game. As you can see here, <laughs> the damage is just absurd. It is so silly how much damage I'm dealing with the kinetic and it is just triggering almost all the time. Really, really great. The downside being if you are moving away from like hordes of husks, as you can see here, we have the lovers, we have bees, we ha I'm like moving around in a damage area. Then you don't have the survivability and you don't have anything really besides your bull rush ability to get away from trouble. So definitely it is fun. That, like the first thing you should try out, but I mean, <laughs> I'm going to be moving onto the bioenergy source for the rest of the gameplays in this video because, as you can see here, you recover shield based on the percentage of energy lost for every hero with three or more stars, and all my heroes have that, so it's gonna be like, um, what the? yeah, that's what <laughs> away with slow your roll. We don't want that stuff, go away. The idea is fun in terms of normal gameplay, it really has no place for a melee build. I want to put in the bioenergy source and I want a survivalist perk instead so that I will heal up when I take down opponents and I have an option even though it isn't as good with Steelwood Sid due to his ability selection. If we could swap out Brazi with a plasma pulse this would be a killer build but for some reason Epic Games decided that. Yeah, you know, we're not gonna be able to select the abilities we want or the skins we want. We kind of just have to go with what we want. But with this change, this change alone, moving from a freeze build that is like theory crafted fun and into a more survival heavy build. We still have the high crit rating. We still have the good base damage. We have all of the cool options from the initial build. But we also have survivability now. Everything we take out is going to make sure that we heal up. It is unreal how far I could push this build. I could play forever without going down. Um, but I felt no reason to just go on for minutes and minutes and minutes of me bashing more husks. It worked. It was amazing. Guardian Bull increases critical hardware rating by 50. This is really amazing because you can perk your weapons for more crit damage instead of a higher crit chance you're going to be getting even more impact from the more frequent crits it is in theory amazing but uh, that dude there that guy um <laughs> the epic games guy uh made something with our weapons i'm not getting an increased critical chance nope it's uh, <laughs> it's just not happening it isn't there um, yeah, they are boosting up the first weapon in my inventory. It is getting a huge boost, but my other weapons are not getting a boost. So right now, he is fun to play, but the only thing he boosts up for me is the first weapon in my inventory. 
So, um, you know, thank you, Epic Games. The, <laughs> the idea was fun, but besides that, if you slot him as a main commander right now, you need to do a bit of a gamble, hoping that your preferred weapon is going to be getting a boost because Based on the games I have had so far, it was just the first weapon in my inventory and right. due to what I had, it was never really what I wanted to use. So uh, yeah, let's move on to Tank Penny, one of my previous favorite heroes in the game, increases hardware damage by 50%. It works. It uh, I found no bugs with it whatsoever. She has unfortunately also the Rosie instead of the decoy really really frustrating because if she had had a decoy this would have been like really amazing but as you can see if we look into my schematics now the damage numbers the dps all that kind of stuff has updated just by slotting her in so that is a good thing it appears to be working now uh, i mean yeah the critical rating thing it was pretty random how it worked this works all the freaking time the downside is that if you like are that, playing in a power level 100 mission you. with power level 130 Just support and safer. commanders with a 130 max perked Sorry. weapon, everything dies anyway. When you hit it with the weapon, it is removed from the game unless it is a blaster, riot, husky husk or smasher. So having the additional hardware weapon damage was really not something I needed in the game. So Steel Wool Sid is currently, in my opinion, the only really useful thing that you can play as a melee constructor. I really, really, really hope they're going to be adding in even more things for us to have fun with. Because right now, we really only have that one option based on how I see things. A huge thanks to everyone out there writing in Loka Hansen as an Epic Games creator. Deeply honored by your support. A few llamas coming in here, as you guys know, it is going to be crazy work weekend. Going to be looking into some of the builds you guys have requested in a video I hope to share before leaving for work. So that was pretty much what I had to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed as always. Thank you very much and very much for watching.